All right, let's get talking. Embrace the face of your race. Right now, I'm showing you a woman from Eritrea. Now, the reason why I'm showing this woman to you is because I want to make it clear that images of black Madonnas in Europe still do not reflect the race of African Americans. If anything, if we wanted to even insist that where it says here, a far girl, Donna Kill, Ethiopia, if you want to insist that black Madonnas represent uh, Africans, then they would probably have to uh, correspond to Cushitic people, such as, again, this Afar girl who is from Donakil, Ethiopia. Now, here is an image when it comes through of a black Madonna. Notice the narrow nose and the thin lips. Okay. Now going back to this Afar girl. We see that she has a relatively thin nose and thin lips. Whereas this Congolese woman though her skin is also brown has a wide nose and full lips now we then take I'm going to say Madonna and Chow. And of course, they've nicely made some of them black. We still see, if you can get out of your heads, that the facial features are the same. It does not reflect, even let's say Madonna and Child statue. It does not reflect.
Central African, or West African facial features. Okay, you can find, of course, Where's my cursor? Come on. We don't want that happening. Come on. E B O B N. O P I A N V Male Models So yes, we can find those types of noses in many Ethiopians. Generally speaking, these models tend to have fuller lips, but generally speaking, these are not features that are common to West Africans. Even going here, where this Ethiopian woman said, I did not know I was black until I moved to Canada. Okay, now we'll. go over to here if it opens up to show you only what less admixed Ethiopians and Eritreans look like. This man is from the Kunama people and this is what they look like as well as and close this out Going down. Has more admixed people. Just 
to people such as the Nara were also known as the Beria and just to get an idea so you get an idea says the Nara make 1.5% of the population and inhabit the Barker Valley near the Sudanese border. Along with the Kunama, they are the only Nilotic Negroid Eritrean tribe and are mainly Muslims. The people are sedentary farmers and share many customs with their neighbors, the Kunama. Just to give you an idea of the attitude, Nara tribe. other Ethiopians towards them. Uh, the Nara, formerly known as the Baria, are a Nilo-Saharan speaking people who live in the Gosh Barker region of Eritrea around north and east of Barentu. says right here I can find it let's see can I find this here Centuries of slave raiding against the Nara people, who were then known as Baria people, led to the adopt, led to the adoption into the Tigray, Blin, Tigrinya, and Amharic languages of the word Baria as a generic name for slave. Okay, now. Showing you this. Warrior slaves, better Israel. And the Google Books. Okay, why? I'm cheating a bit. Let me pull this up. Okay, it says The Making of Modern Ethiopia, 1896 to 1974, page 58. And I'm probably going to butcher this name Tishale Tibebu, the Amharic and Tigrinya languages. In the Amharic and Tigrinya languages, the word for slave is baria. The term baria has three main connotations. Slave, a name of an ethnic group in northwest Eritrea, and a phenotypical designation for very, for very dark skin, kinky hair. Never wants to let me go down. 
one. Let's see. F L A T. See if it lets me do the rest of the passage. Very dark skin, kinky hair, flat nose, thick lips. So, the term barrier has three main connotations. Slave, a name of an ethnic group in, North, in Northeast Eritrea, and a, fit, and a phenotypical designation, very dark skin, kinky hair, flat nose, thick lips. And this is, made, this is a book from an Ethiopian. So... Any of you who do not embrace your race, Those of you who worship Haile Selassie. as a god or F-A-R-D Farad Muhammad as a god obvious that Elijah Muhammad was looked strongly to have been a mulatto you need to embrace your race Even going with, let's say, Jesus, prison team, so this image. Look at this image just to show your psychology. And then I'm going to close this out and this out. This image of Jesus. which is called the Ravina. The 
In fact, I'll type that in for you. Rave N N A Jesus. So I wrote Jesus Ravenna Mosaic. It says uh, Mosaic Saint in Ravenna, Saint from Saint Apollonius Nuevo. Okay, when was it? So this dates back to circa 400 to 600. So this is before the Borgia or whatever I've heard people referring to. You see his facial features look no different, really, from Haile Selassie. You still are stuck on worshiping people with these types of features. And that is even why on a certain level Although I also enjoy his music. Bob Marley was embraced. Bob Marley, who was at least half European. All right. Now I will end it with this just for fun. So you can see, this is Serapis, a Romano-Egyptian deity, and that will be all. Thank you.